everyone! We recently had a maškere, which is kind of like a Slavic Halloween where we dress up in costumes to welcome spring and to shush away the winter. So I'm, I'm very ready for winter to fuck off and I decided uh, to make a kitsune costume for the occasion. And I say recently, but it was like a month ago, but I have finally moved to my final destination a few days ago and it has been a chaotic mess. So I had this video just sitting here, like half finished and yeah. And like I mentioned, I made a kitsune costume and the reasons are because I want a kitsune mask and I wanted to try to make the tails that move. And what's better than making one tail that moves? And you don't know how to make it? It's making nine of them! Good start everyone! Also subscribe for shenanigans, we have costumes and cosplay and weird stuff and we have cats. While we have one cat, but there's a bunch of footage of said cat. So I'm gonna start with the mask. I didn't want to make a pattern for this, so I turned to plagiarism and got this pattern. And it came with a tutorial, so I'm just gonna link it and thank you for making this since I really truly did not want to make this at right now. So I cut out all the pattern pieces and I also cut them out of Eva foam and immediately I screwed up. Then I glued it together horribly and I instead quickly covered it with a quick fix style glue. As I mentioned before, I cannot get the exact brand here, so I found something similar and I just kept putting more and more and more on to even the fuck ups out. Anyway, they traumatized me, so I moved on to the ears. I glued the Eva foam like this, then I cut it to the shape and glued them to the mask. I also cut out the eyes and did some sanding. I thought this was gonna be an easy project, so I put a coat of paint on to see how much that would hide all the mistakes and everything, and I just said no. The middle line was completely visible and I also had some uneven patches. So I was just sanding and gluing and sanding and gluing. And after there was enough glue to hold together a small dysfunctional family, I decided to stop. Not because I'm happy with it, but because I didn't want to do this anymore. Then I started to paint it, thinking foolishly yet again, it's gonna be great, like three coat stuff. Nope, I used a very dark marker, so it took a million freaking coats to cover the dark blue marker I used. And I painted on the mask, the eyeliner and some details the same way I put my makeup on. Not very well. Then I just fixed it with some glossy varnish. Then I glued some foam parts on the inside to make it more comfortable to wear. And I also put a mesh fabric over the eyes so I can see through it. And I just want to clarify, see is a very strong word in this case, however, you cannot see my eyes through this. Then I glued some leftover jersey on the inside just to have something nice and smooth on my skin and just so you can see the mess. But this didn't have to be very nice since it's always on the inside, so it wasn't. I usually sew my head accessories on the wig, but in this case I wanted the elastic so I can wear it on my face and not just on the side. All in all I'm happy with this, I think it looks cute, I just wish it was painted better. But honestly if I choose I can just do a different paint job on this if I ever need a kitsune mask for some other costume, so it's fine. So moving on to the tails. As I mentioned, I really really wanted to try to make the tails that move while you walk. So again, I never did this before, so maybe it would have been easier to make just one, but I, of course I wanted all nine tails. So 
great, great start, great start on this as well, guys. So I watched a few how-to tutorials on how to make these stairs, but I didn't really follow any specific ones, so I just swing the pattern and cut the segments out of the extra pattern piece I made to get the small segments pattern, like so. I cut those pieces out of 18 EVA foam, I then glued the EVA foam pieces on the pattern pieces with about half a centimeter gap between each of those so it wiggles, so good start! Then I cut out the foam pieces with the segment pieces as pattern and I glued those on the EVA foam and I cut them on an angle like so and I will do so with all the foam pieces, again we put them on each side. Here I have them all glued together and excuse the mess, I was testing the wiggliness and I got excited, cause it worked! Then I also shaped them a little bit so they still look a little thin and boxy but again the there's nine of those, we need to keep as much weight off as possible. Then I cut the tail out of fake fur, I just made an approximate measurement first, I sew together the black tips on the rest of the tail. Then I sew them all together on the side that will be facing down the tail. I brush the seams and I dress the tail and sew it together by hand and cut away the fabric as I went, so this is, at least for me, much faster than to get the fabric just right and also a hand stitch on fake fur is very much invisible. I then sew them all together and got a look at the pile of tail, oh my god! <laughs> So I sewed all the tails on the black strap of fabric by hand and I could not film anymore without knocking everything with the tails over. But after the tails were secure on the strap, I sewed the elastic on there and it wasn't enough to hold them up, I did sew them directly on the skirt as well, but I should have made a extra bad situation on the tail as well, I was just not in the mood for it anymore at that point, but I will definitely make an upgrade when I wear this again. So I am very happy with the tails, I thought they would not move as well as they do, but yeah, they do. So I am happy and also yeah, very very heavy, this is so heavy, <laughs> it, it, it needs like it needs support and I need emotional support for them. Moving on to the hair accessories, I took apart a fake flower I had left over from my swamp witch and I painted a little gradient effect as well as changing the color a little bit. I also cut apart a little petals. Then I took some beads and made a little chain and put the loose petals on it and attach the chain on the flower, after I put it back together, I attach that to the ears and sew them on the wig. The ears I just put together super quickly with some wire and black fabric. Now for the outfit, I just put together stuff I had at home, I have this skirt that I got from my second hand store, like I mentioned it has sewn the tails on the waist so they weren't falling off. I also took my dramatic robe that I also got second hand and uh, just a random turtleneck shirt I had at home. Since this was back in February so it was still pretty cold and you know needed to get some warmth in there. I also borrowed the gloves from Liliana, I really like the little detail as well as putting more layers for the cold and I wore my old boots, I brought these back to life after just having them in storage for like 8 years. So I love how all of this turned out, the tails are so fucking great, but sadly I wasn't feeling good the day of the mascara, 
I had some stomach pain and it was no way I would be able to wear the tails with all the weight being on my stomach so I just filmed this another day but I am looking for any and all excuses to put this together again or something similar and to wear to an event of some sort. If you enjoyed this video give it a little like also a little subscribe for more shenanigans and I will see you in the next one. Bye!